All right, we got another unboxing from Liligo. They sent me the T-Watch S3 Plus. In this video, I'm going to go over the difference between the original T-Watch S3 and the S3 Plus, and which device I recommend getting. I'm going to let the unboxing do the talking for a little bit, and then when it's done, I'll jump back in. If you want to skip the unboxing, just go ahead and jump to the timestamp here. All right, so now it's time to compare the two. So they got the original S3 to my right and the Plus to my left. So right off the bat, it's definitely thicker. So the T-Watch S3 is 13 millimeters and the T-Watch S3 Plus is 20 millimeters. So a little less than double. Now we're gonna go ahead and show the weight of the two. All right, so let's start with the S3 and it's about 13 to 12 ounces. I'll measure it a second time to show you that. And then this is about 17 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier. And it's because of that new uh, battery. The battery is a 940 milliamp battery, while the S3 is only a 470 milliamp. So, beside battery and thickness, this device also has GPS in it, as well as an IR transmitter. So, you get a big, bigger battery, you get GPS, and an IR transmitter in this device. So, I'll be curious to see if I can put the Bruce firmware on this, or if there is a firmware available for this that I can do pen testing with. But my thoughts on this device, I had Bruce firmware on the previous S3 watch, and uh, it worked all right, but I just it was a little buggy on the wrist, and it didn't get a really good range, because I think how small the antenna really is on it. I mean, is it good in a pinch? Yes, it would work. Um, do you really need the extra battery life for pen testing? More than likely, you're going to turn it on for pen testing for a little bit, and then turn it off. It's not something you're going to run continuously. Um, there's other devices that are probably better for pen testing, like the Liligo CC1101 that you're probably better off using. It has more buttons, and it's actually designed to do pen, uh, pen testing. Um, but for the watch, I think it would be better off for our mesh tastic. So once we uh, once they, they come up with a firmware dedicated toward it, we'll put mesh tastic on it. I think it'll be better because now that it has GPS, I think that that linked with MeshTastic would be a little bit more uh, beneficial than what we had previously with the S3. But still two great devices. Um, if you don't want to spend the extra money to get the S3 Plus, the other one will do you just fine, um, especially if you're just using it for MeshTastic. But having that added bonus of GPS might be better for that kind of stuff. And I will be doing a in-depth review at some point of this device. Um, this is just for the unboxing and a brief overview. Let me know what you think about these type of style unboxings. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit and also give a little bit more information just in unboxing. So I kind of get like a brief overview and a comparison all in one. Um, and you can skip to wherever you want in the uh, video. Just so you just get the information that you need and then you can leave. So both cool devices. Thank you, Lilygo, for sending it out to me. I will do an in-depth review at some point. Uh, but for now... Thank you everybody for watching. The links will be in the description. You can save 5% by using code GhostRats at lilygo.cc. Go ahead and go on their website and save 5% using code GhostRats. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.